I encourage my teammates. You know, uh, we hit some some dry spells, uh, you know, through the game, and just uh, being positive and being able to encourage my teammates and be a good leader. David, in I guess second quarter you took a, a shot that you typically uh, where, where'd you get hit there and how, how mm-hmm. are you feeling? How was it? Yeah, you know, just a it was clean clean form tackle um, to the to the stomach, but I'm feeling good. Yeah. Patrick. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just keep coming, keep coming. Um, you know, I, I was talking to the to the offensive line a lot, just telling them let's continue to move the line of, line of scrimmage, and it starts with them. Uh, I feel like they both did a great job, as the whole line did. Uh, very proud of those guys. We'll go Austin, Tamlin, and Joe. And then you stay so so calm, so like it never seems like you're too high or too low. At the end, you know, when you're looking around, you see all that orange that we're seeing and stuff. Do you ever take time just kind of soak that in? Mm-hmm. I definitely do. It's a blessing. You know, shout out to Vol Nation for making that trip down here. Um, and, and showing up in a huge way, um, they, I feel like their presence was definitely the difference of the game. All right, so we'll go, Joe, we'll go to you. Yeah, on the offensive line, how impressive have you been just with them this year? And, and you guys getting short yards, it seems like there's a lot of confidence in you able to take those. Mm-hmm. They've made a conscious effort of, of making a statement and, and moving the line of scrimmage um, throughout this whole offseason and through camp and, and through this season as well. And um, I'm, I'm extremely proud of them and, and how hard they work. Many times I come into the facility and I see them, you know, working on their technique, working on their communication, the pass offs, and, and et cetera. So I'm extremely proud of those guys, and we're going to continue to work hard. What? And then what, what have you done to Brown to, to get on the same page with Brew McCoy so mm-hmm. relatively quickly? I mean, obviously everyone knows Cedric's out, but I mean, those are Cedric's like numbers that he throws there. Yeah, it's just reps, reps and reps and reps, um, you know. The receivers work extremely hard as well. They're already they're always in the indoor catching jugs. After practice, they're catching jugs. And all throughout this summer, um, Brew was was up here in Tennessee, um, working out and and catching balls. So um, you know, as a receiving core, we all just continue to work together and and um, gain that chemistry. Awesome. What, what is it? What is it about his, his vertical? He has five targets, five catches. And I, at one point, I don't know what the tank was. It was eight targets, seven catches. I mean, it feels like every time you go to him. He's bringing it. Mm-hmm. He's bringing it home. Yeah, he <clears throat> he plays with a chip on his shoulder, and, and you can see that. Um, he's not easy to take down, and he's very fast. So um, just him going out there, playing aggressive and playing his game, uh, it's amazing to watch. Okay, one more for Hannah, and then we're going to get to B.Y. Anyone? Go right here. The start with special teams where, you know, LSU gets the ball, but you get the ball after one play. Grabbing momentum, how big was that for you guys? Huge, huge. Um, you know, we, we love, the offense loves to start the game with the ball. Um, so f- for that to happen, and um, you know we get to go out there with a short field to work with, uh, we're extremely pumped, and we just wanted to uh, come back down off that that cloud nine from the play. Uh, we celebrated and we moved on and we executed how we wanted to. Thanks, Hendon. Sure, thank y'all.